Greetings to all, and welcome to Redeem Blues on number four. And here we go again. The damage is on, the redeems are on, but are the marbles ready? That is the question. We got a nice track set up here for you. We got uh, some mini Steve pins. We got some trap doors. We got a half Steve. We got it going through with the molasses drip skip chance trap door swoop around. Half Steve trap door again. Half Steve swooping mini Steve pins. Moguls swooping around. More molasses drips and molasses drip finish. Potential skip chance. Oh. Oh. That could be good. For those of you who don't remember, it costs you two points to join. You get three points back if you finish the race. Otherwise, if you die, those points are gone forever. Extra points for third place, second place, and first place. And big points on the final race. All 12 races, concluding rapid succession right now. We got 14 marbles ready to give it. They're all here. We go and right out of the gate. Jeroska's going to be boosting their way out into the Wiggle Waggles. Trying to get through that mini Steve as quickly as possible. Good line so far as the marbles continue to push through. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good approach for everyone so far. Bouncy Walls giving some people some trouble. Terry's first one through the pins. Forby coming around with Lugo Vals right behind in third place. Shakelift gaming in fourth. And now we're coming up into the skip chance central. Who is going to go for that skip chance? We got Terry's just boosting straight through. Link's thing comes around. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A skip chance from Forman down to the bottom. Do they stick the landing. No, they overshot it by just an inch. The other problem was just getting launched into oblivion by the pins. It looks like uh, Lugo or someone stuck the landing. Someone didn't. Uh, Pit Mayoshi bounced in the wrong direction. No one else going for that skip chance. Roska takes out Cyber Hunter Elite by physical force. And we're going to try to catch up to the leaders now so everyone can see what they're doing with their redeems. As we continue on the track, Ryan gets knocked out through the trap door. Here comes Jay Cliff Gaming, Thundercat, and Kirazalka. Kirazalka jumps over the top of the moguls and a little bit too fast there and has resulted in falling off of the map. Take up gaming. Keeps it going. Around the bend. Under the Thundercat coming through with a good line past the half Steve. Spoon Tree getting blasted by the pin with Tokyo. Both of them have been eliminated. Here's Jay Cliff and Thundercat bringing it home for the final stretch. Who's going to be able to take it home right now? Here we got Jeroska Bulba Kramer trying to find a way in the back. Lugo Valis coming around. Jeroska lucky not falling over the edge on there as they were bouncing as they approached the exit there. Jay Cliff came in over the moguls now. Looking pretty good. A bomb explosion to Jeroska, but they're just going to take it like a champ. Bulba Kramer taking it easy in the back, using that sun umbrella to slow him down as always. And it's Thundercat round the bend overtakes Jay Cliff. Jay Cliff heading straight for the explosion if they're not careful. But two molasses shifts before the finish could change everything. Thundercat through one, Thundercat through two. No, they bounce backwards. Thundercat's in jeopardy. Jay Cliff and Tarasco trying to find their way through. Thundercat with a boost, but it is too little, too late. They need to boost again. Now Thundercat falls in there. Jay Cliff with a perfect shot boost. Tarasco sliding in on second. And Lugo Valos hoping to finish it out in third. Bubble Kramer might not have enough time to trade it out. With just 22 seconds left to go, here comes Lugo coming around on the right inside, looking pretty good, and they're pushing the left end to the center. Not enough speed to hit the rim, and they've been eliminated. And Bulba Kramer, with just 10 seconds left to go, might actually finish. They boost once, they need to boost again. Six seconds left to go. Come on, Bulba Kramer, get that boost in there. No. <laughs> too little, too late, and they've fallen to their death. Jake Cliff takes the first victory today. Oh, man. That was good. That was good. Let's make sure this is working. It's working. Great. Play it again. Race number two. Get your bubbles in. That was a weird noise. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what noise did I just make? <laughs> oh my god. One minute on the clock. Get a bit. Let's go over the track. Here we go. What's the sun umbrella, by the way? It's. Oh. Oh. My bad. I take it all back. Oh, uh, we got a monster pan into a broken Steve. That's going to get you past some moguls. A little wiggle waggle all the way through. Broken Steve again. Mini Steve again. We got explosions. We got pins. We got trap doors. We got explosions again. We got molasses drip and moguls one more time before you hit that mini Steve full Steve combo. Double trap door before you hit the three quarter Steve. Whooping around past the moguls in past the explosions. Coming down in on the pins with the mini Steve. Half Steve. Full Steve. Double Steve combo. Into the guaranteed finish win, but watch out for that pin at the end there. Let's go to the top and see who has what it takes to take the victory for the second race of the day. Season 18. I said season 11 last time, so yeah, season 18. It's been a long haul. It's been a long haul. Changes can be a good thing. You never know. All right, folks, here we go. 15 marbles. This is my voice is doing weird things tonight. Anyway, all the marbles pushing through, trying to get themselves down in past the broken Steve right out of the gate. And we're going to have a pretty good competition right on this one. Jake Cliff over the top, past the bumps, and into the wiggle waggles. This is all going to be boosting city. Oh my God, someone just got rocketed into the next century. 
as Bubba Kramer. <laughs> Will they ever be heard from again? Actually, are they going for the... They were going for the win bin. God bless them. All right, Cyber Hunter Elite goes through into the mid seat, but goes backwards. Explosion takes out Troska. Bubble Kramer is dead. Tambury is also dead, joining them in the abyss. Add to Gio lagging behind in the back. Needs to boost to get themselves forward. That's a pretty good boost. They're going to catch up quite a bit. Luca Vals, Pimp by Yoshi and Ryan. All making their way into the blasted drip, but it's looking pretty good for Pimp by Yoshi with a straight shot through. Ryan and Luca Vals holding as well. Vortex and Jacob starting to close the gap. More explosions going off. My god, it's lethal, uh, lethal out there. Lugo takes out Pimp by Yoshi during the explosion. Thundercat falls off the bed for uh, no reason. There is Alka also falling through the trap door. You hate to see it, but Ryan will be the one continuing on in first place. The rest of the bar was getting turned around in those Steve combos, but we got a quadruple Steve combo coming up toward the end, and that's going to really test the marbles on their metal. It's Ryan, it's Fordax, it's Spoontree, Jacob Gaming, Format, uh, Tokyo, and Lugo Ballos. The only seven remaining marbles right now, because we make that six as Foreman gets launched down past the trap door. It looks like Lugo and Tokyo having some trouble there. I would say if you're not in first place, striking might be a good idea, but we'll see how this all comes together. Fornax in that straight away, trying to get through into the final quadruple Steve combo. Ryan in second, putting the pressure on Spoontree and Jacob, having a little bit of trouble further back behind in third. Lugo and Tokyo trying to stay alive in the crack right now and it looks like it's going to be Fordax in past the pins and double pins a little hard to get through as the marbles continue to push themselves on as Ryan coming up from behind coming around into the mini Steve into the half Steve into the full Steve into the double Steve that's right they just get worse and worse and worse who's going to be the one through it's Fordax looping around Ryan bouncing backwards Smoochie coming in in third Fordax up the straight shot through on the right hand side goes the wrong direction has to go back and try again here comes Smoochie Ryan and Jacob Smoochie's got the boost but they're just going back and forward between the two walls Ryan can't get past the half Steve Jacob coming up from behind overtakes the third fourth Fordax shooting down into the double steam, and it all comes down to this. Who's going to be the first one through to the bottom? It's Spoontree right past Fordax into the Wiggle Waggles. Fordax trying to go backwards. Jacob coming up as well, and Spoontree straight shots the Veritine finish. I have never seen a straight shot so perfect. Never mind. Jacob did the exact same. Wait, Fordax did the exact same thing. Apparently, the uneven track is perfect for lining your marble up right down the middle for the straight shot. Fordax came to those extra points in third. Ryan trying to finish it out in fourth place. And Tequillo going backwards. Might not have enough time to finish it out. Oh no, Ryan went right through it over. A little too much. The guaranteed finish not living up to its name, unfortunately. Ryan dead. Tokyo finishes in fourth. And Luga Valis, not enough time to finish it out. Gets killed by the wall of death. And Spoundry taking the big points on that one. Let's take a look at the rankings right now in first. It's Jake Left Gaming with 17 points. They might want to pull back just a little bit. Uh, Spoontry at eight. Droska at five. Fornax pops up to four. Tokyo drops down to one. And the rest sporting those healthy negatives. You love to see a good healthy negative on this show. Let's go to the next one. Race number three. Roradiba Palooza. One minute on the clock, anyway. Let's go. It was around season 11. I'm pretty sure it was like right when it first came out. I think it was the season after it came out, you got it, and then you had it like forever. And I do remember the D20 for sure. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third race for Redeemer Palooza at number four. We got uneven tracks into pins, pins, pins. My God, we got trapdoor, bogle, bogle, trapdoor, blast is drift, bogle, trapdoor, trapdoor. Good Lord, have luck on that one. You might actually want to try to jump over all that. Oh, uh, let's see. We got Bogles in a double steam. We got double, triple trap door. Excuse me. Past the little even lines. Past all the pins. Into more pins. Into the mini Steve. And that's going to get you winding all the way through the track. This is going to be a booster and jumper paradise. My goodness. End of the trap door. Pins. Molasses strip. Finish. This is going to be a test of the marbles. Let's go to the top and see who's doing it for the third race of the night. Cyber Hunter Elite, straight through, into the pin. Fornax, Ryan, all trying to boost their way as best as possible in on this long line. Looks like they're all getting caught up, though. There's the jump from Lugo Valis, but they're slightly off to the side. Oh, it was a good gamble, but a poor execution. Link's has got the perfect jump. That's what we were looking for. They're going to get ahead into fourth place now, fifth place, maybe, as they try to get past the trap. Oh, right across the edge, but they did make it. Sauce by Kiwis, Roska, Takeo, and Link's Link now pushing in that top four positions. Pit Mayoshi jumps a little late there. 
might want to try to refresh and get a better delay on their stream. Down to eight marbles. Sauce my kiwis past the triple trap doors. Takes it safe on the right hand side. Druska also trying to take it safe on the right hand side, but they are going slow across those speed bumps. It's Linksling in third now. Tukio tries to overtake Linksling with the safety jump again. Look at the no oh, Linksling take it out, and Ryan's gonna join him. I thought they were gonna execute it perfectly, but they went right through the trap door. I think five marbles just all went through the trap door at the same time. We're down to four, ladies and gentlemen. Sauce my kiwis. Tukio Druska and Karen. Never mind. Sauce is dead, ladies. And Gentlemen, please be careful. We need a finisher. It's Troska to Kyo. To Kyo, straight through the mini Steve. Kira having some trouble as they go around on the bottom. The rest of the marbles just trying to hold out here as they go through on this treacherous track. I told you it was going to be a demanding one, and they were not taking me seriously. But here we see as it has unfolded. All three marbles with a chance for big points if they can just finish out the race. But Rosco, feeling greedy, continues to redeem, boosting in, closing the gap on Takuyo. Kira also coming in from behind. And they're all coming up now into the final stretch. And this is it. It's Takuyo in first past the trap door. Rosco needs to be careful past the trap door. Bounces over it. But <laughs> a very poorly timed jump into the pyramid on the corner. That turns into a ramp. Takuyo for the shot. Doesn't get the redeem in time. Falling to their death, and it's all up to Kira Razalka. If they could just get a perfectly timed boost to get themselves through, they've got the gooey bear with the eggs in the pot, and it's it doesn't matter. It's all over. The end. Race number four, here we go. <laughs> Get your marbles in, ladies and gentlemen. Put it on the clock. We don't wait around here. Oh my god, we got a juicy one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a pin into mustache with a potential mustache scoop. Jump skip chance. Oh, someone's gotta go for it. And then we're gonna go past quint no quadruple trapdoors. Then we got Steve, half Steve, Steve, Blaster Strip. Skip chance, jump around, swoop out combo. Double pins on the half Steve. We got a trap door, trap door, bomb, full Steve, double Steve, going up past the trap door. In around the long waggly waggly lines. Boost City right there. If you can make it happen, pass the three quarter Steve and then into the last of trip and fetish. Oh, we're gonna have some juicy, some juicy, juicy jumps on this one. We're gonna see what happens. I'll even give you guys the angle here. Hold on, wait a minute. There you go, that's the ang. That's the ang right there. Who's gonna go for it? Who's gonna go for it? 14 marbles, ready to have at it. Here comes Jake Cliff, here comes Lugo Valis. Lugo, <laughs> I don't know what Lugo was going for. But that wasn't right. Jake Cliff down, Kira down, all three marbles gone without a hope. Tambry's going for the swing, really go for the jump. It's Ryan for the jump up top, but way too late. It's going to be a little bit going to refresh to get that re uh, cooldown time down. Tamarin hits the lip of the trap door, keeps himself alive. The rest of the marbles are soldiering on forward. Anyone going to go for a jump skip chance here? Pip Mayoshi for the skip chance down to the bottom. They're on the rim. They drop down. Oh, but it's bouncing track underneath. Betrayed by the track. It was a perfect execution. Pip Mayoshi jumped up, land on the railing, rolls down into the half Steve, but the half Steve bounces him up and out. An unfortunate turn of events there. I thought they had it perfectly executed, but the track had other plans. Sneaky track, always sneaking in those version two physics. Six. Anytime you don't want them, but it's gonna be Link's Leg and Roska tied for first as they go into that half. Steve that took out Pip Mayoshi just moments ago. Takuyo and Foreman in third and fourth. Tamaris in fifth, trying to get themselves past that Steve. Ooh, Droska and, and Link's Leg going backwards. Takuyo gonna try. Everyone's trying to go the wrong direction on that half. Steve and Takuyo just obliterates Link's Leg with a punch to the face. Foreman straight through the trap door, falls to their death, and once again we're down to three with Droska leading the charge past the regular Steve into the double Steve, looking pretty good right now. Takuyo and Tamaris need to boost to get themselves ahead of the competition. And not being held by the wall of death here. Joska going down in past the trap door. They've got it. Tambres needs the boost to get themselves closer on that gap. Unless they're hoping that Troska is just going to kill themselves as they approach the finish. Takeo coming around. This is Boost City, ladies and gentlemen. You should be boosting as hard as you can. This is the way to go. All the way down. Tambres, what are you doing back there? Troska goes past the pins. Takeo coming around the bed. Close the cap on Troska. Troska trying to get through in first place, but Takeo is starting to challenge. Tambres has no intention of challenging. I think they're going to hope that the other two marbles died. And Troska needs one more boost. Perfect execution. They wobbled left. They wobbled right. They straightened out and they just shot straight through. Getting that honing trajectory perfect, and Takuya with a poorly timed bounce 
didn't quite work out. They had they had the right timing, but the uh, the bounce line just didn't work out for him. They got bopped around and dropped right out. And now Tabrys with just 13 seconds left to go gets the benefit of the follow cam as they are the last remaining marble. One boost, two boost, three boost. Oh, <laughs> they go the wrong way. It was almost salvaged, but no, Drusco with the solo finish for race number four. And that could change a couple things in the leaderboard. Let's take a look. Is Jay Cliff still in first, but now down to 13 points with those greedy plays. Droska tying at 13 with that victory. Fornax drops to zero. The rest of the marbles dropping well below zero. We're going to need some new winners if this is going to change anything on the leaderboard. Let's go to race number five. Yes, Tamaris, I don't think you did anything wrong on that one. Because with the delay, there's only so much you could do, and you timed it well. It just didn't have a good time to... It wasn't a good line to bounce. That's what it turned out to be. Anyway, one minute on the clock. Get your marbles out. Let's go. All right, folks. This is number five we're in. We got, ooh, we got some pins. We got maybe a skip chance. You have to go real slow, but there is technically a skip chance there. Round the bend. Mini Steve. Double Steve combo. You got some bogles. You got some bogles. You got some bogles. You got a trap door. You got a bend. You got another skip chance maybe. Coming around past that line, in past the trapdoor, double Steve wiggling around, in past the half Steve, going around the bend, into the straightaway, we got some pins, we got some trapdoor, trapdoor, pins, trapdoor, mustache combo, going around past more trapdoor, pins, mogul, molasses drip, past the final three quarters, Steve, molasses drip, fetish, end of the wind. Some good potential here for some skip chance. That's definitely a skip chance right there. I mean, there's a chance you jump up and you actually land on this track, but I mean, you could, you could, you could do it. You could do it. Anywho, let's see what the battles have in store for us here on this one. Race number five. 14 marbles ready to give it all as they go into the race. It's Fordax coming up over the top. Here comes Troska. Here comes. Oh my. Chukio just got blasted by the pin. Never to be heard from again. They're having a rough night. Here we go. Fordax straight through on the mini Steve. Kirozaka pit by Oshi. Bring it up through here. All the marbles piling in, Pep Mayoshi jumping over the top, tries to skip ahead and go straight for the win, but didn't happen. And they're going to be Levi Droska, bounces oddly off of that boost into the Bogles, and they just go right out the track. There goes uh, Spoon Tree jumping for some reason, not sure what that was about, but they're out of here. And now we have Skip Chance City right now, Ryan up into the line, winning Marble, Fordax, Cyber Hunter, Elite, Boba Kramer, J-Cliff, Tabris, Link Slake, Droska, Kira, maybe... Who's got it? Ryan blasted by the bomb. Fordax jumped down. They got the landing, but the bounce track betrays them again. And the bounce track really cost the marbles all their lives here. Oh, Kira drops through us. The trap door. The trap door falls through onto the bottom of the track perfectly, but it's bounce track underneath a double devious track combination right there. And that is unfortunate. Let's go back to the action so the marbles can redeem appropriately. It's winning marble out by a mile. Cyber Hunter Elite in second. Luca Vallis in third. Bubble Craver fourth. Jake Cliff and Gaby in fifth. And Link Sling in sixth. Trying to get past that double Steve as winning marble continues to cruise in the victory right now. All the marbles trying to get through that double Steve except for winning marble who's just leaving them in the dust. There we go. Cyber Hunter Elite, Jake Cliff, Gaby, and uh, Bubble Kramer finally getting past on that half Steve. And Bubble Kramer seems to have a good line, seems to have good speed. Winning marble taking it very cautiously past those trap doors, but Bubble Kramer is closing the gap. And uh, oh my god. Odd winning marble has been sent into orbit. They're returning in to land, but will they go anywhere near the track? No, winning marble's gone. And now we're down to just five marbles. Bobo Kramer, past the trap doors, keeping it alive, goes up into the mustache, needs to find a way out quickly. No, they're gonna go backwards. Jake Cliff coming around in second, Cyber Hunter Leet in third, Lake Slick in fourth, Lugo Vallis in fifth place. All of them making the way down, some damage being dealt in the mustache. Easy now, ladies and gentlemen, don't get too vicious in the mustache. And it's gonna be a good jump there, and they drop down, but Lugo's out, and now we're down to four. Bobo Kramer leading the charge in through the pins, looks like it's gonna be Lake Slick drives the boost, but gets a bad bounce over the top of the speed bumps, gets eliminated. Jake Cliff coming around in third, Cyber Hunter Lee coming around in fourth. Here comes Boba Kramer going down past the three quarters, Steve, but they need a perfectly timed boost to finish it out in the win. If they can just do it, Jake Cliff overtakes straight through, going through, doesn't even need the boost. Straight on the center, Boba Kramer falls short of the win. And Cyber Hunter Elite with one last chance to finish it out. If they could just get themselves perfectly boosted, yes, they do. And it's two finishers this time for race number five. Congratulations. Whew. To Jake Cliff, maybe it's Cyber Hunter Elite finally getting some points again. Jake Cliff now at 23. They might want to just take it easy at this point. Uh, Cyber Hunter Elite almost seeing positive numbers. Everyone else, it's it doesn't look good, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't look good. Droska drops down to 11. Spoon Tree drops down to 4. Cyber Hunter Elite almost in the positives. Everyone else, negative. 
Race number six, we go! I mean, you don't have to. Every time you join and die, it gives everyone else a chance. So it's up to you. What's more important, the fun or the win? A tough decision. All right, folks, here we go into the mini Steve. We got some popping pins. We got some regular pins. We got some blaster trip. We got some popping pins. We got a trap door going through into the double Steve's and a couple more popping pins and explosions. Lots of straightaways for some boosting here. We got a trap door, popping pin, double trap door into the muggles, into the mustache, coming around the bed, in past all the popping pins. Mini Steve trap door going into st uh, standard pins, muggles pins, in past the more final. Muggles on the drop into the guaranteed finish wind bid. Look out for that pyramid on the exit, though. It'll get you. Is it? Is it gonna move? It's not moving. Is it only? Oh, there we go. No, oh, no. Oh, 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 no. It only. Oh. <laughs> it's just. I think it only moves when uh, the race starts. Anyway, we got 15 marbles ready to do it. Let's go. All the marbles looking to get started here as they drop out of Sarpies to kill. Jumping the gun. Right out of the gate they go, screaming through, and now we are ready to make it happen to Kyo. Off the mini Steve, tries to keep it all together. The rest of the marbles coming around into the bottom. Kira Zalka trying to get through that first place mission to Kyo. They'll hold on to first place for now. Not a lot of skip chance potential here. It's just going to be one wild ride from the start to the finish. Lots of damage being dealt. Ryan takes out Bubble Craven. Winning marble takes out Pit Mayoshi. As the marbles working their way through onto the molasses trip, it's looking pretty good for Spoon Tree as they go down over the bumps, try to get down into the double C. Droska falls to their death through the trap door. The rest of the marbles trying to make it happen. It's Fornax coming around in second, but taking some damage. Fornax takes out Lugo, so it looks like they were able to fight back after that damage being dealt to them. There we go. The rest of the marbles boosting themselves into the double Steve there. A big explosion. Sauce takes out Fornax. Linkslink takes out Ryan. Somebody just got launched into the stratosphere. And Sauce by Kiwi's hoping to land further up on the track. Can they do it? No, <laughs> Spoon Tree is running away with it right now through those boosting lanes. And that is what you want to do, boosting through those straightaways to really get yourself as far as possible in this competition. Spoon Tree in a commanding lead right now. Jacob getting thrown down by the trap door. Cyber Hunter Elite going to join him. Winning Marble going to follow through as well. Down to four marbles as we go into the last half of the track. It's Spoon Tree into the mini Steve. Takes a little bit of a bump. Takio going to do the same exact thing. Kira Zalka and Linksley trying to find their way out of the mustache. To close the gap on the other two, but Spoon Tree seems to continue to have the lead on this track. They're trying to boost through on the Moguls. Now they're coming up into the pins. A couple more boosts is what they're going to need to continue to get through. Karazaka out through the half of Mini Steve as Linksing tries to catch up from behind. Takira goes backwards. Kira overtakes as they go in, puts the Steve past the pins. And Linksling now fighting with the Mini Steve. Looks like they're going to be through in no time. Here comes Spoon Tree. The final stretch bounces one, bounces twice, needs to hit the pin, doesn't get it. Rings around once, rings around twice, doesn't hit the pin again. Is Spoon Tree going to be able to do it? Yes, they will. And Spoon Tree takes it. Takira overtakes Kirazaka, though. So Kira's going to need to find a way to close the gap if they want to close this one in second place. But they're still going to get bonus points for third if they can finish to kill. Over and out, back and around. They're boosting the wrong way. They've let the door open for Kira Rizalka. Kira's just going to kind of coast down to the bottom if they can just get through the center into the wind to finish. Kira takes second to kill. Once again, boosting at the wrong time, launching themselves into oblivion. And Linksling going to scoop up those third place points for free with just two sec. Oh, oh. Eh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> There's like six points just sitting there. And Linksling's like, oh, I got those. <laughs> so close. So close. Man, this is a rough night. We're not doing so well tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Jaycliff drops down to 21. Spoon Tree launches up to 14 points. Overtakes Trosco, who drops down to 9. Cyber Rider Elite in the uh, negatives. And Kira popping up. Almost sees the positive numbers for the first time tonight. But we're going into race number 7, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. This is fun. You guys having fun? I'm having fun. This is a blast. We need we need to figure out a prize structure for this and start hitting the... Hitting the interwebs on this one. I think I think we got something here. This is something special. One minute on the clock. Let's go. We got some pins going through into the moguls. That's going to get you past all the trap doors and the half Steve trap door pins combo going past the broken Steve. We got moguls. We got some popping pins. We got some uh, moguls. Some pins. 
Looping around. Big skip chance potential here. We got a trap door. We got a full helix. Jump over the top straight through. Otherwise, you got Bogles trap door coming in. Trap door, trap door, pins, popping pins. Trap door, Bogles, trap door. Moguls, molasses drip, finish. So just one chance for a skip chance on this one. Otherwise, it's all going to come down to the redeems. Let's see who's going to take the one today on the seventh race. We hope every Sunday at seven. Um, I'm getting, finally, after being promised a promotion for like a month, finally getting up into training position, which means my schedule might have to change, which means I might want to push these things later. We'll go from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, but I don't, I don't know. I gotta figure it out. We shall see. What's important right now is we got 14 marbles ready to go. Into the race. Fordax past the Bogles, no problem. Into the trap door, right over the top, but a perfectly timed boost to make sure they don't get got. But unfortunately, they just bounced right over the wall of the half Steve, and they will be eliminated along with Akilio. Now the rest of the marbles funneling in. It's winning marble. Once again, out in front. Spoon Tree in second, Cyber Runner Elite in third. Sauce by Kiwis, Pit Mayoshi, all trying to make it happen. And Jacliff has been eliminated. Pit Mayoshi, tired of the antics of Jacliff Gaming, does not want them having an easy victory here today. Winning marble also jumping. The boosts are just sending people over over the edge, all over the place. Not looking good right now, so the Marbles need to be careful when they boost, not to hit those bumps awkwardly and just jump right off the map. Poon, uh, Pimp My Yoshi, Poon Tree? <laughs> I'd like one of those. Anyway, Pimp My Yoshi up into the skip chance potential. Will they go for it? Probably not. They're already so far ahead. The rest of the Marbles now coming down. It's gonna be Cyber Hunter Elite in second. Uh, looks like uh, Spoon Tree trying to hold third. Bubble Kramer and Linksling pushing around in that fourth place position. Mayoshi taking it slow and steady. Spoon Tree bouncing poorly, falls and dies. Here comes Summer Hunter Elite in second place. The rest of the marbles coming around. It's going to be Link Sling, Boba Kramer, and Ryan. Trying to get down into that. Is anyone going to go for the skip chance? Ryan, Boba Kramer, Tamaris. Pip Mayoshi's dead. Never mind. Ryan goes for the skip chance anyway and goes backwards. Falls off and dies. Link Sling down to it. Tamaris, one last chance for a skip chance. Will they go for it? They've got a perfect line. They could go for it right there. Oh. Link Sling now in first place. Cyber Hunter Elite in second. Boba Kramer third. Tamri's taking it slow and steady. Just trying to stay alive. Who is going to be able to finish out this one? This is Booster Alley right here, ladies and gentlemen. Those who boost will live. Cyber Hunter does not boost. Falls through the trap door. Dies. Boba Kramer jumps over the top of the trap door. Keeps it all together. Tamri's coming up. Bouncing away. Trying to get through as quickly as possible. It's Link Sling boosting one more time. Keeping it all together. Going for the top. Bouncing one. Bouncing twice. Needs to do it again to get into the wind. Man. No! Link Sling falls short. Boba Kramer falls short. And Tamri's Gonna get the benefit of the follow cam as soon as the camera catches up into the moguls. One, two, three, straight through. Boom! Tamaris takes the victory for race number eight. Are we on to eight already? This is going by so fast. I fucking love it. Anywho. Tamaris, solo victory on that one. Let's take a look at what that means for the leader. Bar. That was race number seven. We have confirmed. Jake Love Gaming drops down below 20, now at 19. Spoon Tree at 12, Droska at 7, and Tamri's pops up to almost positive points. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Race number 8, load up, get your marbles in. Alright, folks, here we go. This is. Race number eight. We got some bogles right out of the gate. Gotta get you around the bend into the popping pins and the trap door. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. A jump skip chance down to the mini Steve or the mustache. Who knows? Wriggle around. Another skip chance right there. Trap door through the double Steve. Technically another skip chance. Load around on the bogles. We got the mustache. We got the broken Steve popping through. Trap door. Another skip chance. Wiggle around. Another skip chance in past the half Steve going around the bend on the pins into the poppers And we got the trap door that another trap door some more poppers around the bend as you finally get through in past more poppers Mini Steve into the guaranteed finish win bin well, Let's go to the top and see who's gonna go for those skip chances now We're just gonna double click because we forgot to start the button Cyber hunter elite already calling their shot slow and steady We'll see if the skip chances have anything to say about that. Here we go. Uh, 13 marbles. Into it. Ready to make it happen. Lots of damage being dealt out of the gate. And our first skip chance potential. Who's going to go for it? Somebody, anybody. Winning marble popping in. The rest of the marbles. It's Cyber Hunter Elite going for it. And they drop down Mr. Slow and Steady himself. And Pip Mayoshi straight through. It's the shot. And the one bin. Cyber Hunter Elite coming up from behind. Does the same. It's a two for ladies and gentlemen. The rest of the marbles with just 23 seconds left to go. It's all over. They're jumping. They're flying. They're boosting. They need to do something to try to finish.
finish this race because it's all over. Is anyone going to be able to make it happen? Fornax tries to jump down to the bottom of the track. Can't do it. My God. Cyber Hunter Elite faking out the entire universe on that one. Calling their shot slow and steady only to skip down to the bottom. It's a new global world record. 19.9. Are you kidding me? Pimayoshi. Unbelievable performance. Definitely earning those points on that race, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Can we clip that for clip of the week? Because that is, that, if that's not clip of the week, I don't know what is. If that's not clip of the week, I don't know what is. I don't, we, it doesn't get better than that here. It doesn't get better than that here. That's as clip of the week as we get on this channel. Ugh. There's a clip button right here. Right here, there's a clip button. Actually, it's probably like right here. Is it here? Here. Here? Here. I think it's right here. <laughs> and then you gotta send the clips to the Pixel by Pixel Discord in the clip of the week submissions. It's towards the bottom of the channel's clip submissions is where it is. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do it. You should have a little clip button. Is there not a clip button? Is there not a clip button? Hold on. Let's get in the next race. Need to make sure something didn't get deactivated. Get your bobbles in. Let's go. Oh, no. It, it's... Oh, yeah, it's there. It's next to the... Yeah. Yeah, it's there. It's like it's like right here. Oh no, it's <laughs> one bit on the clock, let's go! <laughs> we got pins, we got three quarter Steve. Oh, we got a trap door dropping down to the bottom. We got popping pins as you go around the bend and a nice skip chance there if you can get the angle. Otherwise you gotta go past the bogos in past the Steve. Maybe some more skip chance hooliganism on past the three quarter Steve. More pop and binge dropping down in past the explosion half Steve combo. Then we got the last strip. We got the trap door. We got double trap door. We got another trap door. We got pins. We got explosions. We got bogos. We got three quarter Steve. We got double drop. We got bogos with a pop and pin and then a guaranteed win finish. So a little bit of trickery able to be had here, but you're gonna have to really pull that one off. Definitely not gonna be the same as last time. Let's see what happens on this one. Zoom, zoom. Is race number eight? Race number eight. Pretty sure. Here we go. Oh, no, this would be... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh, my goodness. It's Pimp Mayushi with a golden name. If that's not going to be a morale boost, I don't know what will. Here we go. Droska zooming in. On to the center lot. I didn't realize if we get the global record, their name's going to be gold for the entire event. Thankfully, we're on teams, so it doesn't show up on the main screen. But it does show up in the top ten. And Pit Mayoshi's done it again! They boosted, bobbled, popped over the pin, dropped down into the half steam. And once again, Pit Mayoshi's going for the throat. The other problems are going to have to really boost their way to get out of this one. Riot goes up for the top, tries to drop down, and the Steve can't do it. The rest of the marbles just bouncing and bobbling around like idiots trying to find some way to answer the unprecedented jumping and skipping potential of Pit Mayoshi. Fordax goes for the jump. No, never mind! Pit Mayoshi through the trap door. Kira goes for the jump, lands down further on the track, but it's bouncy track, betrayed by the physics variant too once again. And now it's going to be anyone's game. Takuyo out in front. Tamrace is climbing uphill, going backwards through Steve's right now. Spinetry <laughs> coming around in second place. The rest of the marble is a little bit worse for wear out in the bend there. But Takuyo really pushing it as hard as they can. Goes past the trap door trying to keep everyone on screen so everyone has a fair advantage. But it's a nasty angle around that helix for those marbles to see what they need to do to go forward. Here comes Takuyo now trying to get down into the pins. Looks like they've got a pretty good line. Spoonchi coming up in second place. Needs to be careful around that trap door. Here comes Takuyo into the drop. It looks like it's going pretty good for Takuyo right now. But two more trap doors before him. Spoonchi takes an explosion right to the chest. He's going to keep moving on though. Takuyo perfect line across the trap doors when they're 
They're both close, coming down to this last push. Will they be able to get themselves down into the guaranteed finish? It's Tequila holding it out right now, and there looks like they've got a pretty good line. No pin right now. They're gonna circle around on one, circle around twice, circle around three times, and they're through. Tequila takes a victory. Tamri jumps off. Spoonry jumps off. With just 25 seconds left to go, I think it's only Jake Cliff with a chance to finish it out. Sauce my kiwis and Cyber Hunter Elite need to make a miracle happen. Sauce my kiwis jumps off and dead. Droska, another bad bounce off a boost. It's tragic how often that happens to Droska on this race. That it looks like it's going to be Jake Cliff Gaming taking it easy, but they've only got 10 seconds left to go. They got to find a miracle to get themselves through. Cyber Hunter Elite way back and behind. Nothing happened in Jake Cliff Gaming. One last boost to get him into the win. Too little, too late. Out of time. Jokoyo with a beautiful. Streak ahead to the first place position and taking a victory for themselves. Killing else everyone in their wake. Else everyone? Everyone else in their wake. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores now. J Cliff Gaming continuing to join. Down to 15 points. Spoontree drops down to 8. Jaluska drops down to 3. Cyber Hunter Elite back to 0. And Takuyo tempting those positive points just a little bit. This is going to be a close finish. The last race could decide everything. Race number 10. Get your marbles in. Let's go. And thank you all for coming out this and every Sunday for Redeem of Palooza. Don't forget, after the show tonight, we're going to be taking on the Ender Dragon for the first time ever in like our 13 years of playing Minecraft. Wowzer. Let's do it. One minute on the clock. Let's go over the track. We're going to start off with the trap door. Swoop it around. Trap door. Skip chance. Coming across trap door again. We got the last trip. We got moguls. We got a trap door. Skip, skip. There's just skip chances everywhere. Figure eights and twisted dots as far as the eye can see. We got trap doors. We got explosions. Trap doors popping pins. Going around the last trip. We got half Steve, half Steve combo. That's a lovely combo. I, ooh, there's something about that. I like that. Why do I like that? It's nice. I like it. Anyway, coming around the bed, into the drop, into the mini Steve explosion, and a guaranteed, we've got a lot of guaranteed finish combos on this one. Uh, surprisingly, not a lot of finishers, despite how easy to finish these tracks have been. Mostly due to the wall of death, but hey, that's the name of the game, Redeem Palooza. It is what it is, deal with it. Uh, you have to post it in Discord. For PvP under clip submission. Stroska coming around in best. Oh my god, the marbles are hungry. 12 marbles really going for it right now as they all push around in those boosts. Looks like they're gonna have it. And once again, Droska perfectly timed boost into the tiny little pyramid and right over the track. They're, it's actually impressive how good they are at boosting over tiny bumps and dying. Winning Marble goes around into the straightaway with the figure eight skip chance coming up. Ed's Bubble Kramer and Link Sling in second and third respectively. Here comes Ryan in fourth leading the Peloton pack in the middle as they go through that molasses trip and now the Marbles are gonna have to make a move. Winning Marble doing very well right now just scooting through this track like it's no big deal. Here comes Link Sling in second trying to close the gap on Winning Marble. The other Marble's not gonna go for the skip chance. Is Kira gonna go for it? Maybe, no. And now the Marbles just gonna have to take it the long and slow way as they battle their way through the rest of the track. Winning Marble. Now going in. Ryan takes out Link's like Winning Marble. Excuse me. As Winning Marble tries to hold that lead, it's going to be Takio coming around right behind. <clears throat> and oh my goodness, that trapdoor takes out Pit by Yoshi and Ryan. Brutally, right? As they were about to close the gap on first place. Here comes Bulb Kramer. Here comes uh, Kara Rosalka. Ed Fordax coming around as well. Sauce by Kiwi. Sorry you couldn't stay for the whole thing, but glad you got to catch just a little bit of it. Hope to see you in a little bit. And here comes Takeo winning Marble, battling it out for first place. Bubble Kramer falling to death. <laughs> Kirazaka now in third somehow. And we're going to see what's going to happen as the Marbles continue to push through in the final bend. It's winning Marble back in second, losing a lot of ground to Takeo. But there's a good boost from winning Marble. Going to close the gap immediately, just as I said it. Takeo in first, winning Marble in second. But it's all going to be about the execution as it comes down to the finish right now. Look out for that explosion. They both go around it into the mining Steve. They both boost, but they both miss. Takeo looking for a dead drop right down to the center. Winning Marble with a chance to close it, but it's too little too late. Takeo again takes a victory. Ten more points going into their pocket. Winning Marble going to have to settle for second place, which is still decent points at this neck of the name of the game. And this looks like it's going to be 4X and Kira just trying to finish out this race to not go further negative. It's Jcliff Gaming way back. Not sure they're going to have enough time to finish it out. Who's it going to be? 4X or Kira? 4X straight through on the wraparound. Gets down in third place for the extra points. Can Kira find their way down in just the last remaining seven seconds to go? They got to go slow. They got to go steady. They got to find the drop. And they get it. Three seconds. Jcliff just two seconds. Takes it just with one second to spare. Are you kidding me, ladies and gentlemen? Five finishers. That might be a Redeem -a Palooza record for most finishes in a single race, and that's going to really change things on the leaderboard. Let's take a look.
is J Cliff back up with 16 points. Tukuyo drops or jumps up into second place with seven. Droska continuing to lose all the points they earned early on, down to just one now. <laughs> As they hold on. Cyber Hunter Elite hitting those negatives, but Winning Marble and Fornax jumping up, trying to get closer to positive before the final race. Ladies and gentlemen, race number 11, the last small points race. Don't forget, in number 12, the points jump up by approximately 250%, giving almost anyone a chance to win. Let's get into it. Race number 11, one minute on the clock. Let's go. Starting off with the three-quarter Steve, going through on the straightaway bends. Straightaway bends. Going through the Wiggly Waggly Woos. Whatever you want to call them. It doesn't matter. Explosion, Mogul, Mustache, Cabo. There we got some more uneven track coming across the trap door and popping pins. Another trap door, another molasses strip pan, static pins, static pins coming through into the molasses strip pan. We got the trap door, more bends, more explosions. Three-quarter Steve, full Steve, Mustache combo coming in past the static pins over the uneven track with popping pins. Trap door, Mustache wrapped around, double trap door into the molasses strip finish. Combo! It's, it doesn't mean anything. Nothing I say means anything. <laughs> it's just noise coming out of the hole into the thing that makes more noise where you are into your holes and we all pretend we're having fun. Lady Tish, welcome in 31. Hope you're all having a go. But this is Redeema Palooza, the second to last race of the night. You better get him in next race. It's gonna be the final race. Almost anyone has a chance to win. Let's see what's gonna happen right now, though. Oh, the marble's trying to get through as quickly as possible. Love marbles on this one, trying to make it happen. Oh, the track we got pit by Yoshi coming through as they go down into the bogles. Had a little bit of trouble on the mustache there. Tequila coming around in second. Looks like Winning Marble just can try to find their way through. Oh, on the wraparound on that mustache. It looks like it's gonna be a good one for them. Winning Marble taking a good boost on that straightaway. The straightaway timings are gonna be clutch for the victory here on this one. Winning Marble up in the last trip. Needs to be careful as they all go through. Tokyo and Joska coming in. Tokyo bad bounce off the speed bumps there. Goes right over the edge and falls to the oblivion. It looks like Tokyo will be eliminated and that's going to be our second death on this race. Winning Marble coming around. Gets a little caught up in the pins. Joska trying to close the gap but also gets caught up in the pins. And now we got Tamarish Pit by Yoshi. Jacob Gaming all trying to make something happen. Back in the third place position. A lot of damage being dealt. Rumble Kramer and Link's like just fall out of the map entirely. And now Winning Marble starting to push a little bit of a lead once again. Joska not giving up though. Boost to catch up. Going up into the three-quarter Steve, into the full Steve, into the mustache combo. Droska now closes the gap, goes around the right hand side. Can they get to the exit though? No, they get cut off right before the blade sweeps by. And Winning Marble now gonna have a comfortable lead on Droska. Tamaris comes through with Jake Left Gaming and Pin Mayoshi. Not too far behind. Oh, but Drahuska, a straight through all three Steves on a single move, straight shot into the pins, and Winning Marble could be in trouble. Jake Left Gaming and Ryan now coming up in third as they deal some damage going up into the full Steve. But Droska, who's been denied victory ever since the first race here, is now trying to make a statement. Another perfectly timed boost in. Pass. Oh, but they bounce backwards and Winning Marble's gonna close the gap and they're jumping. They're trying to jump over the mustache blade. They've done it and they catch the bounce on the edge. Are you kidding me? How did they not die? Oh my goodness, it's Winning Marble across the gap and they barely have enough speed to make it to the rim of the wind. Trahuska once again denied victory. They actually stopped dead in their tracks completely. I lost for words at what just happened. They can't believe it. They finally recovered, gotten the morale to jump back in, boosting in across the line into second place. And now the rest of the marbles try to finish it out with just 10 seconds left to go. It's Ryan up into the Blaster Strip. Do they have enough time to get through? Karazalka coming around in third. There goes Ryan. Not enough speed. They're going to be eliminated. Karazalka needs the boost. Where is it? There it is. In oh, ho, ho, ho. Barely crawls over the line. Wall of Death cleans up the rest and winning Marble finally living up to their name. Putting Droska in their place. But Droska not to be outdone. What a play. Bouncing over the mustache, over the wall, and then catching themselves in the final bend before they died. Let's see what that does to the leaderboard right now. Ooh, J Cliff still in the lead at 14 points, but that lead is dropping fast. Droska up to eight now, takes second place back at winning marble, now up to seven as they try to take it towards the end. Takeo at five, all the other marbles still in the negatives. It's time to go into the last race. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special last race. We'll be getting two points taken away when you join, three points back if you finish, extra points for third place, second place, and first place. We're, we're multiplying that by 2.5. We're going, we're going high. We're going hard. We're doing it right now. It's now going to cost you five points to join, but boom, look at those points coming in. So almost anyone's game. We'll take a look at the leaderboard right now. Ooh. So Jake Cliff is in the lead with 14. 
which is a point gap of 20 after the join, which means I think Ford and Up have a chance. Pimp Mayoshi, who did amazing today, unfortunately, I think is out of range. It's going to be a close one. We'll see what happens. But it also means anyone who's watching right now on the raid could win it all because you could get 20 points. Boom, right in. You, could, you just slot yourself right in at number one with one race. It could happen. It's anyone's game, almost. Except for those, you know, six people we were just talking about. So get your marbles in. Who rated again? Somebody? Anybody? Who, buddy? What, buddy? <laughs> Lady Tish, thank you for the raid. Boom! We got some, uh, we got some confetti in. And we got, who we got? We got, we got 36. Boom! Who else we got? We got more things. We got, we got, we got Kong Carl. Boom! Welcome in. Good to have you here. Who else we got? With them first chats of the channel, we got Chief Hef. Boom! Or help, excuse me. Welcome in. Glad to have y'all here. Get your bobbles in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look, it's a thing. And a person. I love what she does when she busts a generator. Is that Dead by Daylight? She's the witch. Yeah. Lady Tish, I can't hear you. Lady Tish, speak up. Ditch. Ditch. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I ain't nothing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last race. Race number 12 of Redeemable Palooza. Number four. Ooh. <laughs> and it's a juicy one. Baby, baby. Remember, extra points on this one. We got double Steve Mustache, Broken Steve, Three Quarter Steve Combo. We got double Trapdoor. We got Mustache Explosion. We got Explosion Trapdoor, Full Steve Explosion, Double Pin, Mustache Pin Combo. I don't know what it means. Oh, we have a Trapdoor down to the bottom of the next track. My God, that could be good. And we got Mustache and Pins going around on the bend. We got a little bit of Mogul, Three Quarter Steve Explosion. They got a Trapdoor, Mini Steve. We got a Blasters Drift, Half Steve. We got another Skip Chance, maybe straight into the dunk. Ooh, that could be interesting. Going around past those um, Molasses Drifts into the Mini Steve. And finally, the guaranteed finish, Windbin. Plenty of juice to be had on this track, ladies and gentlemen. Get your marbles in. 10 seconds dropping down, 15 to go. Who's going to take it here for Redeemer Palooza? Number four. That is the question. All right, here we go. 16 marbles. Pixel gets in at the last second. Let's go. The marbles working their way into the double Steve. It'll, oh my goodness. Fordax with the proactive jump. Tries to jump over both Steves, but get caught in the mustache. It was a brilliant move. Just didn't quite have enough momentum to pull it off. Pixel by Pixel. Gonna do the same thing. Goes for the jump and sticks the landing using that dinosaur, fl <laughs> inflatable dinosaur to their advantage for extra airtime. Linksling gets knocked out of the mount and it's like gonna be Bulba Kramer, Chief Health, and Jake Love Gaming all battling it out for first place as they go through. Linksling is belated. Ryan takes out Pixel. Doesn't want Pixel just dropping in one and winning the whole thing and I don't blame him. Here comes the rest of the marbles now into this mustache. Look to have it through a little trouble on the explosions so they worked their way around on the bends bubble caber coming up into the straight shot looking pretty good right now as they go across into the trap door going through on the right hand side past the full steve check health and ryan now closing the gap in that second place position tabry's blade knights here good to see a blade knight hope all going well jake lift gaming pushing across past that trap doors they all work their way down to the bottom into the straight shot Chief out, nothing. Everyone, nothing. A good jump right here could save the marbles a lot of time. Ryan strikes through Bulba Kramer. And there it is. Chief out with the jump over the top. Hits the bump and sticks the landing. And that's really going to cement their lead right now as they try to get through. But this is Skip Chance Central, ladies and gentlemen. The trap door could get you right through. Otherwise, you're going to have to find a way to try to jump over onto a pan. Blade Knight having a little bit of trouble in the back with Jake Cliff and Tam as they all go around. And Chief is stuck. Chief, you gotta do something. <laughs> Despite being in a full-blown tank, the M1 Abrams does not have the horsepower required to get over the most mediocre of speed bumps, and they're gonna need a victory right now to make it happen. They need a strike, they need a boot, their jump, they need something to dislodge that marble out of that hook. It's gonna be Ryan taking an explosion right out of the map and gone forever. All the other marbles now try to get around onto that three-quarter Steve. Blade Knight, Jake Lift Gaming, and Tamri still battling it out. Neck and neck as they go through. Pimp by Yoshi, Skip Master General goes for it, does not take it. 
has to go around the long way is going to be a little bit further by needs to do some boosting to get themselves caught up into the competition and now all the marbles have caught up together and it looks like chief felt has finally freed themselves pit by hoshi just gets obliterated by a pin sent into the next universe and never to be heard from ever again and that is going to be it for them jcliff gone the leader has left it completely open it could be anyone's race right now the winner of this could take the whole thing for the evening to kill boosting through hits the half steve tamra's closing the gap from behind and chief held all the way in the back looking for a one-shot wonder jumping over the top tries to stick the landing but no their luck has finally run out and they've fallen short of glory here tamra's could go for the skip chance right over into the wind bin but chikio has got the straight shot through if they can just keep it all together on the mini steve is tamra's gonna go for it one last chance for glory tamra's over the top to jump into the bottom no and tamra's gonna leave it open for chikio and chikio straight through needs to execute right now if chikio can do this they could take the whole thing for themselves dropping down in the bottom it's gonna be tamra's coming around from behind chikio finally secures it 20 points in the bag Tamri's looking to clean up for maybe a couple 15 just to have something for the show for the end of this race. 22 seconds left to go. Why are you boosting Tamri's? What are you doing? Just let gravity do its thing. 15 seconds. You better hope you have enough time to swing around twice. There it is once. There it is twice. Drop down one more time into the windmill. Takes the second place victory prize pool. And that's going to do it for Adiba Palooza number four, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look. and see who won. In third place, Redeem Palooza number four, we have J Cliff Gaming, who was in the lead the entire game and drops down to third on the final race. That means it's anyone's game. Who is it gonna be? In second place, it's Tamaris! Jump it up with a second place finish. And that means with a one-shot wonder, it's Takeo! First place victory, grabbing it, chalking it, crushing it. Takeo, congratulations, and we'll see you next week for Palooza number five.